hello guys in this video tutorial we are going to see how to make a media style notifications for our music player app and so for that i'm already pasted some images here in drawable folder and here i'm going to create a new java class that is track list track files for making objects of our array list that will contain title path images and many more things i am here content giving three properties that is title singer and int type of image that is thumbnail and here we will press alt insert and we will create constructor for all of these variables and also we will again press alt insert and we will create getter setter for each of these three variables and now this class is done so i am going to main activity and here i will create first a list of our track files that just we have created and this will be track files equals new our list and here we will populate the music files that is populate files and then this populate files method is created and now we have to make a new instance of our track files so track files equals new track files and here we will pass the title first dummy title and dummy singer name and also we will pass the integer value of that image in our drawable folder r dot id dot r dot id dot programity Oops, we are not seeing any session oh because of we have passed here id we have to pass here drawable so now first we have created an object now we will add this object in our track files above the object of track files and release of track files is same that's why the priority is given to the track files so we have to first change the track files name that is this track release now track files are released dot add this track files and now we will just copy this and paste it for three more times and now we will change some things that is these object names to make it different because we are getting some errors and also we will change the title and singer name to make it different and uh, this tribal image values so change this to art or tribal dot uh, something else and before that i'm going to just change this title and singer name And so here we did the job for populating all the files in our early list. Now we will first create an application class to make the channels for all of the notifications. That is, we will create two channels. These channels are necessary for Android Oreo and above. So we will create an application class. It will extend and 
application class so first we are creating string public static final string and uh, let's name it as channel id 1 equals assign it some values let's say channel 1 and also we will create another variable for channel id 2 so copy this and paste it here and rename these two two and this to two also now again copied and pasted three times these three values will be for our action that we will click on the buttons on the notification menu so this will be action next action previous and action play pause and we will give this some values also to change this let's say next previous and uh, this one will be play we are assigning these values because of we want to check which of the button is clicked so now we will add an on create method override an on create method and so for that first of all we have to extend application class because we are not seeing any of the methods here and now we have to extend this to application class you can see this android.app and now we will override a method on create method and here we will call a method that we will create here and now we will press alt enter to create this method here in this class now this method is now created so inside this method we have to make channels and before that we will check if the version of the android is oreo or above because this channel will be created only if the version of the android is oreo or above so we have checked this using this if condition and now we will create notification channel instance of notification channel equals new notification channel and here we will pass the id first so id that we have created as a string value that is channel id 1 and the next parameter will be the name of the channel so here we will add a double quotes and inside this double quotes we will give it a name let's say channel and parenthesis 1 and here we will have to pass priority of this notification so here notification manager dot priority let's say high important high and now semicolon now here we will set the description of this notification channel so notification channel one dot set description and here pass some description let's say channel one description and then after this we will create another notification channel for notification channel 2 so just copy this and paste it here and rename it to notification channel 2 and change this id also and also this name channel 2 and this 2 and after this we will create an instance of notification manager so notification manager equals get system service and uh, here we will pass the argument as uh, notification manager dot class and semicolon now we can create the channel using notification manager dot create channel and here pass first notification channel instance and again we will create the notification channel 2 so notification manager dot create channel and we will pass the argument as notification channel 2 so the notification channel has been created now and after this we have to register this uh, application class in our manif android manifest so manifest xml open this and inside application tag we will write let's say name and 
here you can see the suggestion application class just tap it here and that is registered in our manifest file and now let's run the app and see if the notification channel is created in our app so running the app and here we have already android api level 28 so the notification channel will be created the app is running now so just we will go to the our app information so long press on our app and you can see the app info click on it and inside this click on notification and here we will see both the channel names that we have given to the notification channel that we have created in our application class so these are the same names so that's it for the tutorial thank you for watching in the next part we will continue this series